Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. What do we got here? So this is an ancient Egyptian piece of stonework um, that my family got from a garage sale. So you, your family definitely had this before the Luxor was around, right? Yes. OK. Yes. I'm here at the pawn shop today to try to sell my ancient Egyptian stonework piece. The Egyptian stonework is framed. It's in good condition, I think. I believe this to be an ancient Egyptian piece from the fourth dynasty BC. We had somebody take a look at it, and that was their best guess on what it would be. I'm hoping to get $25,000 for my ancient Egyptian stonework. This is pretty cool, man. It's definitely carved in the style of ancient Egypt, and it has what looks like a pharaoh. Have you ever seen this before? Uh, I haven't seen this in particular, but it looks like it's sandstone, which is what they use. It's a stone. It's really malleable. You can carve in it like this. Do you mind if I take a look at it? No, go ahead. It's all stable on here? Yeah. It just seems weird, a piece of rock held onto a piece of cloth. Looks like they used hot glue. Something, maybe hot glue and Velcro? I don't know. Did you have it framed? Did your family have it framed? Not or... as far as I'm aware, it came that way. I mean, it's always been kind of one of the jokes. Is this really 4,000 years old, or was this somebody's high school art project? We don't know. Have you ever had it looked at? So my parents have an archaeologist friend who's been to Egypt tons of times, and he looked at this and said that he thought it was 4th Dynasty, but he doesn't have the credentials to stamp something and say it really is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it looks really cool and carved in a style, but it seems to be missing any signs of aging. And the whole hot glued onto a frame thing is kind of weird sure. to me. Um, are you looking to sell it? Yes, I'd like to sell it. OK, and how much are you looking to get out of it? 25000 OK, um, do you mind if I have a buddy of mine check it out? No, oh, that'd be great. You want to give Bob Dodge a call? Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, um, hang out. I'll be back in a few, OK? OK. I hope the expert tells us that it's real, that it's from the, the fourth dynasty BC, and it's everything that my dad said it was. Hey, what's up, Bob? Curry, chum. How you doing? Double trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is from ancient Egyptian artifact. Whoa. Don't come across those all day. Might I pick it up and oh, take absolutely. a look? absolutely. And it was acquired. So it came from my father, and he got it at a garage sale. Wow. So it's sandstone, and it's one of the stones that would have been used in ancient Egypt. So I'm trying to see just how soft this stone is. So as you can see, I'm getting little sand bits on my finger just with my fingernail. And then I'm also going to feel the surface. Is it smooth? Is it sharp? Anything that's been sitting in the ground for let's say 3,000 years. There's going to be this constant polishing from being buried. And I'm going to let you guys feel this. Feel this surface right here. What's that feel like? Pretty rough. Yeah. Like sandpaper almost. Like sandpaper, exactly. And then I'm also looking at the headdress. This is not a headdress that was used in ancient Egypt. So you believe this to be a modern carved piece? Yeah. Is it worth anything? I would give you $20 for the frame if you kept the stone. <laughs> Least favorite part of my job. Oh, thanks again. OK. Thank you. Sorry. Well, I guess that's not good news for you. No, that wasn't the news I was hoping to hear. Unfortunately, you know I'm just going to have to pass. Sure. Uh, thanks for bringing it in, though. Yeah, I'll just put it back up on my wall. Well, it's unfortunate that it wasn't real. Uh, I guess everything's a treasure until you find an expert's opinion.